welcome back. At least 33 million children are expected to receive vaccination against measles as the federal government of Nigeria flags off the 2017-2018 immunization campaign. Children all over the country aged nine months to five years are the target for the six months campaign. The executive director of the National Primary Healthcare Development Agency, Dr. Faisal Shuaib, says Nigeria still accounts for the highest burden of measles globally, with 3.3 million children yet to receive the vaccination against it. The flag off of the national immunization campaign against measles offers an opportunity for the government and other health authorities to create the needed awareness amongst communities on the importance and values of vaccination. This exercise is a follow-up campaign which seeks to protect the children between 9 to 59 months against measles, a disease that can spread rapidly and sometimes with fatal results. The federal minister of health is, however, confident that this 2017-2018 campaign will be different, going by the high-quality preparation and financial commitment by all levels of government. In Kaduna State, the governor, Nasser al rufai who was represented by his deputy, gives an assurance that all eligible children in the state will be immunized against measles. He also appeals to parents to ensure that the children are vaccinated from preventable diseases. About 1,488,332 children will be covered during this campaign in the state. We want to make sure that each child is protected from this deadly but easily preventable disease. Global development partners are part of this campaign. The team leader of the World Health Organization, Dr. Braca Fiona, notes that Nigeria can only address the continued measles outbreak by meeting the required target of 95% routine immunization coverage if the state and local governments provide their counterpart funding. Nigeria, along with other countries in the African region, have signed a, a, a target, have set a target to eliminate measles in Africa by 2020. Routine immunization coverage has not reached optimal levels at the subnational level, and past campaigns have not reached the desired 95% coverage. For this gathering, hopes to provide the much-needed visibility for the success of the campaign through boosting the welfare of health workers while also educating the public on the importance of routine immunization. Ethiopia has launched a civil registration program for refugees allowing over 883,000 people in the country to legally register with authorities. Refugees can now receive birth, death and marriage certificates as well as divorce decrees to allow them to easily access services like education and health care. Baby Anga Kuni is one of the first refugees in Ethiopia to ever receive a birth certificate. This will enable him enroll in school and access other services in the future. The 18-month-old baby's mother, Ariat Odula, says not having a birth certificate for herself and her other children made it difficult for them to register for basic services as refugees in Addis Ababa over the years. The family fled their home in Malakal, South Sudan, when civil war erupted in the country in 2013. Birth registration is an important protection tool, ensuring basic human rights, particularly in situations of displacement. It establishes a child's legal identity and can help prevent statelessness. I went to register my daughter in school and I was told to bring her birth certificate. I told them she doesn't have one. This is why birth certificates are important. Over 883,000 refugees living in Ethiopia will now be able to get legal documents recording vital events like birth and death certificates, marriage licenses and divorce decrees to enable them rebuild their lives and become a part of society. The new policy is part of a commitment made just over a year ago by all members of the UN General Assembly. Ethiopia made nine pledges in line with the Comprehensive Refugee Response Framework 
the CRF. It is a very important protection tool for the refugees because any refugee children like uh, any other children are count. The achievement of the documentation pledge is a milestone that helps refugees gain access to basic services and opportunities for skills training and employment. More than half of the refugees in Ethiopia are children below the age of 18. The country currently hosts refugees mainly from South Sudan, Somalia and Yemen.